Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to hide and show different parts from the scene. And let's see how to do that. So here you can see again, I'm using that same file. And you can obviously practice these things with anything with basic primitives as well. So we can hide and show different parts by putting them in different layers. Obviously, we can do that. We have already covered that part. So let me show you some different ways to hide and show different parts. So let's say I'm working on the head and I just want to you know, hide the hair uh, so that I can see, uh, see the skull here. Let's say that's the situation and I want to hide all these hairs. So I have layer options. Obviously, I can put these hairs into a layer. Then I can turn the visibility off. Uh, obviously, we have that options let's see the other way so first select the objects you want to hide and then let's go to the display menu here and inside that you have to sub menu hide and show inside this hide you can see there's an option called hide selection if i select it it's going to hide the selection okay so again let's say i'm working and i want to hide the oh no the headphone as well so let me deselect these eyes and select only the headphone and i want to you know hide the headphone here so again i can do that or i can press g key so g is basically repeating the last action so whatever you have used before it's going to repeat that so you can press the g key so again it hide that no headphone so now let's say i want to bring the headphone back for some reason so i can go to display and this time so not the hide so and inside that we have some options here so again in this case i'm going to use so last hidden so it's going to show the last hidden part so it's going to show the headphone because that was the last hidden part and if i want to show the hair again then i need to go to display and show and i can choose show all to bring everything every hidden part and basically to show every hidden parts so again the shortcut is uh, no control h for hide you can select and press control h to hide the selected objects and let's say the situation is i just want to keep the head and i want to hide everything else we can just select the head which you want to keep and again i can go to hide and this time i'm not going to use hide selection if i use it it's going to hide the head in this situation i'm going to use hide on selected object which is going to hide everything else the selected object so you can see it's very easy you don't have to select a lot of parts you just select the part you want to keep and then you can hide the unselected parts B basically it's the opposite of the hide selection so these are some options here you can see we have some options to hide uh, by types you can say if you have lights you can hide those things let let's create some lights so i'm going to create maybe point light here and maybe some other lights maybe maybe spotlight and let's say we have some cameras so again we can hide by types by going to display hide and inside this we can we have these you no know, types i can just click on this lights it's going to hide every lights from the scene so it's very useful you don't have to even select those it's going to automatically hide all the lights from the scene okay again you can hide the cameras so again you can hide the cameras like this so very useful options you know go ahead and explore these uh, options again we have a lot of options here obviously i'm not going to cover all these things so basically this hide options is going to help you in modeling stages when you model you need to you cannot put everything in different different layers so it's very useful just to select and press ctrl s to hide and again let's say i hide this and i want to bring that back i can press ctrl shift h which is the shortcut of show last hidden so ctrl shift h to show the last hidden 
and control s to hide the selected object alt s to hide the unselected object you can press alt s to hide the unselected object okay so practice know these shortcuts and yeah i think i have covered the basics here so in the next lecture i'm going to introduce you with outliner we are going to see a new window to manage our scene